This is the story of the three kings, the first layout. Once upon a time, there were three kings. Each had founded their own kingdom, and all were closely allied together to form one big empire. The importance of each king was shown by his size, and each had a color of his own and dressed up all over in his color. Whenever there was a great occasion, the kings marched in a procession with all of their attendants following behind. The red king, being the largest, went out in front, the first. He was followed by his six attendants. Three of these attendants were related to the second king. The next three attendants were related to the third king. Each wore their king's color back to front. The second king, the blue king, was also followed by his six attendants. The first three attendants were related to the red king, the first king. The next three attendants were related to the third king, or the yellow king. Again, they wore their king's colors from back to front. The third king, the yellow king, was also followed by his six attendants, wearing his yellow color from front to back. The first three attendants were related to the first king, or the red king, and the final three attendants were related to the blue king. There were also six bodyguards, with two of them surrounding each of the three kings. For the sake of harmony, nobody could stand taller than their king. Harmony and order prevailed. Something happened to the blue king who had to march always in the middle. He got tired of this and felt that he deserved better because he was the first to assume power and had started a whole dynasty. This was quite unlike the yellow king who was small and very modest although he was the one who gave birth to them all. He hated to make a show. One day, as they were all marching, the blue king tried to revolt. He sent three of his attendants to capture three of the red king's attendants nearest to him. There was a scuffle. As soon as this happened, all of the bodyguards surrounded the blue king. Three of the yellow king's attendants surrounded the remainder of the blue king's attendants. And the yellow king's other three attendants moved up for support. This moved the yellow king to the back of the procession. He was there and he was happy because he was just taking his place in line, being quiet and modest. Why did this all happen? Because they had all crossed over from their own kingdom and entered into the kingdom of the decimal system. Their values had now changed forever.